When it comes to his stance on live golf, Rory McIlroy is backtracking a bit. During an appearance on the Stick to Football podcast that published Wednesday, the 4, Time Major Champion said he regretted his comments that criticized the golfers who defected from the PGA Tour to join the Saudi-backed Live Tour over the past couple of years. I think, at this point, I was maybe a little judgmental of the guys who went to Live Golf at the start. And I think it was a bit of a mistake on my part, because I now realize that not everyone is in my position. Or in Tiger Woods' position, McElroy said during the podcast. We all turn professional to make a living playing the sports that we do, and I think that's what I realized over the last two years. I can't judge people for making that decision. McElroy, 34, had previously been an ardent defender of the PGA Tour, and routinely criticized the players and executives who helped make Live Golf a possibility. Bankrolled by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, Live Golf offered astronomical sums to a handful of the sport's biggest names, including Phil Mickelson and Dustin Johnson, to poach them from the PGA Tour, which initially suspended the defectors. Critics of Live Golf have accused the Saudi government of using the franchise as a form of sports washing, or a way to improve their nation's reputation by hosting a prestigious sporting event or financing a popular team or league. Recently, the number three player in the world golf ranking, John Ram, announced that he was making the move to join Live Golf. Starting with the 2024 season, in a deal that is reported to be worth around $500 million. I wouldn't say I've lost the fight against Liv, but I've just accepted the fact that this is part of our sport now, Rackleroy said on the podcast. Competition is good to help improve the sport of golf overall. But the PGA Tour competing with Liv and the Saudis' money is completely unsustainable. You're never going to win a fight if you're going money for money. Because we've seen that in other sports where no one is spending money, like the Saudis. After years of contention and posturing against each other, the PGA Tour, Live Golf, and the DP World Tour in June 2023, announced a partnership that would join all three leagues into a single operation. The organizations had set a December 31 deadline for the specifics of the deal to be finalized, but it was not completed in that time frame. On Sunday, PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan sent players a memo that said meaningful progress had been made and that talks would continue. I don't begrudge anyone for going and taking the money and doing something different. But don't try to burn the place down on your way out, McElroy said. I think it's just created this division that will hopefully stop soon, because I think it's the best thing for golf too.